Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome to Victoria 2 Heart of Darkness, where we are going to be playing an uncivilized nation today. And if you have never played an uncivilized nation in this game, uh, you have to westernize. And it's it's somewhat, somewhat similar to EU4, shall we say, in, um, in the fact that you play nations that simply don't have the same abilities as western nations. And uh, once you westernize, you suddenly become just as good as they are. Well, sort of. <laughs> Victoria 2, if you haven't seen this game before, it takes the place uh, during 1836 to 1936, during the rapid industrialization and colonization period, where there were empires that controlled large portions of the world, like the British Empire. And uh, it's also the time when Germany formed and Italy formed. So there's a whole lot of things that happen in this time period, and this game focuses entirely on them. But today we're going to be playing as Japan. And if you haven't played an uncivilized nation before, Japan is by far the best one to try out first. Because Japan has really good things going for it. It starts at rank 70, which kind of sounds kind of bad. But Japan has really good starting literacy. And if you want to westernize, you need literacy so you can get those research points that'll help you westernize. So Japan has a good position as far as literacy. It also ha has a lot of population. So you don't have to worry about getting your uh, national focus points. You have lots of troops you can recruit. There's a whole lot of good things uh, with that. Um, it also has a bunch of resources that are vital to industry. Starts with coal, starts with sulfur, starts with iron starts with things that you really want for industry. So Japan has some nice stuff. It's also fairly isolated. So the, the major powers, the European powers, they don't fucking bother you. No one's gonna bother Japan except maybe the USA, maybe Russia. There, there, there is Russia up there, hi Russia. If you guys didn't see my Chinese campaign, I recommend you check it out. China is very different from Japan, but obviously they start in the same parts of the world and they're both uncivilized, but China has a much much stronger starting position than, than Japan does because China has all these puppets that they can just integrate when they westernize. And I would, I would urge you to check out the Chinese campaign. It was really fun and uh, we did all the things that you should never do in this game like go over the infamy limit, tisk tisk tisk, and go to war with all of Europe at the same time, tisk tisk tisk. We did that several times as China. China's just a beast. But uh, today we're going to focus on Japan. So let's hop in. Japan also has the Meiji Reformation, which is where you get 30% more research points towards your westernization progress. And once you westernize, you lose that bonus. But the Meiji Reformation can either be done with revolt risk or without revolt risk. And the one with revolt risk is the one we can do right now. So we can get our 30% research bonus during westernization progress if we select the early Meiji Reformation, but that'll give us a bunch of revolt risk. Uh, it increases national militancy to, I think, 8? Or is it 6? It is 7. It increases conservative militancy to 7, and it increases reactionary militancy to 9. So it increases militancy everywhere. But uh, we can do it right now. The one that doesn't increase militancy is the regular Meiji Reformation, but this one requires you to be sphered by someone. And in this game, Typically, the USA will sphere Japan eh, somewhere around 1860, maybe 1855 at the earliest. So we're looking at 20 years of waiting at least before we can go for our 30% uh, research bonus. And this goes away when you westernize. So it's, it's really kind of useless. I think it's better off going for the early refor reformation so that, or restoration so that we can start uh, right away on trying to westernize. Let me read this. Japan is traditionally considered to have been founded by Emperor Jimmu in 660 BC. It's a long time ago. And while the imperial lineage was still considered unbroken since then, the imperial office had thought had throughout the Edo period been reduced to a revered and respected but ultimately politically powerless institution. By embracing a restoration of the imperial rule along with a program of swift industrial modernization, constitutionalism, and economic freedom, Japan might be free to might Japan might be able to break the fetters placed upon them by the impositions of the Western world. Man, I'm so bad at reading things, especially when I haven't had my coffee yet. My goodness. 
All right, so this is Japan at the start of the game. We don't really have any relations at all. Uh, we start with 18 brigades with no tech, zero tech. We start with one transport with no tech. Oh, wow. We have 7.8 million people, and this is the adult male population. That's a huge population for an unsiv. That means we have four times that in our nation, because there's also adult women, another 7 million of them, and then there's people who aren't adults yet, and it's about twice that. So it's going to be about another, I think, 20 million or so is the total pop? I don't know. Yeah, 28 is the total pop. So yeah, 7 million that you see, that's the adult male pop. It's only one quarter of the total pop. So the total pop in Japan right now is 28 million. Uh, we got one focus ready to go, but we have population enough for 17.6 national focus points. Wow. And you notice as an unsiv, we can't actually click any research. We can't do it. Westernize to be able to research. So we can't, this the technology window is useless. We can't do anything with it right now. The way we westernize is through the politics window. We go to the reforms tab, and here we gather our research points and we have to pick all these reforms so that we can westernize. You don't have to go through all of them. You simply have to go through enough so that this progress bar reaches 100% and you can hit the westernize button. You gotta remember to hit the westernize button. I think the first time I tried, the first time I tried to play an unsiv, like, I don't know, Persia or something, I didn't realize you had to hit the westernize button. I just, I'm like, 100%, why aren't I western yet? And it's just, oh, you have to hit a button. Okay. <laughs> I was a moron. So, how do we get research points? Well, there's two ways we get research points. One, we sit on our ass. That's right. You sit on your ass, you get research points. You can see up here, we're getting 4.3 research points per day. And we can increase that by increasing the, the literacy of our nation. Well, we can start by increasing literacy in our most populous province, which is Kansai. So let's increase that with some clergy. That's the clergy's job, after all. And uh, let's, uh, well, we can tax people a little more if we switch factions. Right now we have the Shogunate faction. Eh, Shogunate faction's fine, but uh, I really prefer the Court faction. Court faction gives us the ability to build factories, whereas the Shogunists, uh, no. The Capitalists can't even build factories in the Shogunist faction. But in the Court faction, they can. So go Court faction. Also, the Court faction, well, once we unpause, let me unpause here. The Court faction will let us tax people more, which is what I want. There you go. Yeah. Tax the hell out of these people. Screw the people. And we're also going to raise tariffs like crazy. Uh, important things as Japan is we're going to get our administration up as fast as possible. It's at 11% efficiency right now. That's pretty crap. And we're going to get our education up as fast as possible as well. Yay. Okay. Well, we have our one transport ship. Let's bring them over here to Nagasaki, and we're going to set Nagasaki as our collection point for ships and for soldiers. So let's go ahead and merge all of our troops in Nagasaki. I'm probably just going to delete all these troops, but we'll at least put them in one place so that when the firing squad comes out, uh, they'll be easy to find. <laughs> uh, when you start the game as an unsiv, if you have an army, they'll all be irregulars. And that's the only thing we can recruit is irregulars and some calf. I guess I'll get some calf. One, two, three. I'll get four cap. Uh, when you start the game, all you have is irregulars. And they're they're like the world's shittiest units. I mean, they, they can't do anything. They're just garbage. They they are literally garbage. Oh, man. So the, the first way you get research points is by sitting on your ass. You get research points simply by encouraging clergy to increase your literacy and waiting for the points to roll in. The second way you get research points as an unsiv is by conquering. And that's what we're going to focus on. We're going to focus on conquering stuff. But we're not going to do it until we have something better than these freaking irregulars. God, these irregulars are bad. These irregulars are so bad. We also need to build some more transports. So let me queue them up. Let's see, clipper transports. I don't need 38 of them. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Hmm, I think I'm going to go for 20. The problem with these transports is they're not all going to build. We are an unsiv, and as an unsiv, we do not have access to all the world's goods. We get access to whatever's left over after everyone's picked through the pile. Uh, gold rush, okay, that's good. You can see our economy right now is we're losing 40 pounds a day. Once we get this gold rush, we'll start making money, which is great. But as I was saying, 
building these clipper transports over here, you can see in the construction window, they're still they're not building. They're at 90 days, 90 days, 90 days. It means they don't have the they don't have the materials they need. And they're not going to get them for a long time, most likely, because the rest of the world is buying up all the materials for clipper transports. So if civilized nations need clipper transports, they'll get them before we do. If great powers want to build transports, they'll get the materials before we do. Anyone who's higher rank than us, higher than a rank 68, can get materials before we do. So it's, it's kind of crappy. Anyway, let's go ahead and get our gold in Kobe. Yay! Is that going to help our economy? It should. Oh, yeah. Gold rush. So good. That was in Kobe. All right, what's up, Kobe? Oh, yeah. Loving that gold, Kobe. That's so much gold. Wow. So it looks like we got one, two, three, four. Okay, four of our ships are going to build. That's good. That'll give us five transports total. And it looks like the rest of them... Nope, this one's coming in. Good. What about this one? Netherlands attacking Belgium. That's normal. This one is not going to build. You can see the clipper... We're on fast forwarding right now, as fast as the game will go. And the clipper convoys are not being purchased. It means they're not available. The world simply has none to sell us. So we've reached our limit on ships that we can build. Okay, what's up with this war? It is the Netherlands versus Britain and Belgium. Uh, well, Netherlands is dead. <laughs> Am I going for Sokoto early? You know, the problem with going for Sokoto early is uh, the USA is going to go there as soon as possible. So perhaps we'll go there as soon as we westernize. Remind me to do that. As soon as we westernize, remind me to go for Sokoto. I don't want to do it too early. All right, what happened here? Afghanistan accepted peace from Bukhara. Acquire Bukhara in West Afghanistan and acquire Bukhara in Tajikistan. So Afghanistan has spent, what, 11 infamy? Yeah, 11 infamy to get two states off Bukhara because one of them was free. It was his core. Did I just get 20 years younger? Yeah, I did. USA is intervening in the Texan War of Independence. No! USA, leave Mexico alone. What did they ever do to you? Now, it looks like we have six transports. Am I right? Six? Five? Yeah, six. Six transports, and the rest of these are not going to build because we're still in unsiv. Well, when we increase our rank, we'll be able to build some more ships, but for now, these things are just going to stay queued up, and they're never going to do anything. Can I put my face somewhere else? Yeah, hold on. There you go. There. Is that better? How about I put my face in the fucking trash can? Will that make you feel better? Damn Twitch chat. No, oh, we are building another one. Wow. The world freed up a little more um, clipper convoys for us. Oh, and there's more coming in. Okay, well, there you go. We're getting very lucky here that the world is not using all of the possible clipper convoys that they can. Really lucky. Wow. So we are going to build some more transports. This is great. One of the things that really stinks about... Um, being an unsiv is we can't build ports and since we can't build ports our ships cannot repair and since they cannot repair they're gonna slowly degrade down to five percent health <laughs> really sucks hey we have enough research now yay uh, but we only have enough research for foreign training methods and we're not gonna do this because I really want infantry and we can get infantry if we take foreign weapons this unlocks flintlock rifles and if we go to flintlock rifles this allows construction of infantry. So that's the research we want. You need to wait for how many points? 8,880 points. Well, we're at 7,000. We're almost there. I love the text for it. The, the text for this research is called, This is my boomstick. Yep. We're going to show the world our boomstick. Oh, man. We're getting really lucky, man. Really lucky. So we wound up with seven... Or is it eight? Yeah, we're going to have eight transports. That's pretty good. I like it. And uh, the USA has enforced peace on Mexico, so they did not annex Texas. Have I started to fabricate yet? No, I'm not going to fabricate for a while. We don't have our infantry yet. Okay, there we go. Now we have enough research. Let's go ahead and get the infantry. Oh, wow, the cost has gone down. The cost went down to 6,600. Lovely. That's because we have tons of literacy and uh, tons of upper house support for the conservative class. Yeah conservative party. 
There we go. Boomstick time. Boomstick. Boomstick shakalaka. So we're just going to build infantry out the ass. I'm going to delete the irregulars because they're crap. Crap. Mega crap. And as soon as those irregulars become available to recruit, we're going to uh, turn them into infantry. It'd be really sweet if you could just click on them and say, upgrade to infantry, and they'll like get new equipment and new training, but they don't work that way. Basically, the pop has to go back to the counties that those dudes came from, and then, um, and then they'll eventually become available to be recruited as new troops. There we go. Another cab as well. So we're going to have 6 cav and like 40-something infantry. That's fantastic. I looked better with the beard. Well, I liked you better before you said that. So take that. <laughs> no, I do look better with a beard. It's true. I have a, a baby face. Let me turn off uh, infantry construction. There we go. I only want to see the transports because I'm very curious if we're going to get... It looks like we might get another one. We're very close to getting another transport built. Just need uh, half a clipper. Give me half a clipper. <laughs> Wanted. Search high. Yeah. Oh, we got so lucky that the uh, conservatives took over the upper house. Look at that. Look at that. So many conservatives. It means everything's cheaper over here. Nice. <laughs> Alright, infantry are building, or are these the cav? These are the infantry. Great. Our first target for aggression is going to be the wonderful nation of Korea. And uh, obviously Korea is rightful Japanese clay. Everyone knows that. The tough part for us is going to be fighting his ally, China. China has no technology, but they have 117 regiments and they are constantly building more. By the time we start the war, they're probably going to have like 300 regiments. Not even kidding. Oh, we're getting another ship built. Oh, so good. We found that half a clipper that we needed. That's really nice. That's going to help a ton. If we can get like 10 transports, that means we can transport 30 troops at a time. Beautiful. All right, why don't we start fabricating? And uh, you notice that conquest on Korea costs up to 22 infamy. Not guaranteed 22 infamy, but up to 22 infamy. So let's see how much infamy we get. Please don't get caught. 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 This is greed right here. This is greed, baby. Please don't get caught. Please don't get caught. <laughs> we only have half a year left. Don't get caught. Don't get caught. Don't get caught. <laughs> you typically will get caught, but who knows when. Uh, if you get caught right away, then you get 20 minutes for me. If you get caught at 50% of the progress towards fabrication, then you only get 11 infamy. So the progress bar tells you how much infamy you'll get when you get caught. Ah, shit, we got caught pretty early. 13 infamy. Ouch. All right, then that'll do. That'll do. Wow. 13.5 infamy. Ouch. They're wising up to us, baby. Oh, now we got our infamy. Now we got our... Uh, Fabrication speed bonus. A little late on that. More troops, please. God, 13.5 infamy. That's a lot. Yeah, 13 is a lot of infamy. In this game, if you go over 25 infamy, all the great powers will declare containment wars on you. So you typically want to keep yourself below 25 infamy in this game. Not that that's always possible. But yeah, 13.5 infamy is a lot. Ah, oh, Chile. Poor Chile. He did the War Pacific and he lost. He didn't lose any land, so he's okay. More troops, please. 
Okay, we got our CB. So we have one year to declare war. We have until April 24th, 1839 to declare war. Most CBs give you one year to declare war. Not all of them. Some of them are only like six months, I think. Like maybe the um, maybe the repay debts is only like six months. I don't know for sure. Yeah, look at that. All of our ships are at 5% in health because they can't repair. We're fully funding them, but they can't repair. Oh, well. We're going to stay at peace as long as we can. We're going to wait until April of next year to declare. That way, uh, more of our infamy will burn off. Your infamy burns off at 0.1 per month. So over the course of a year, you'll lose 1.2 infamy unless you're at war. If you're at war, then it only burns off at 0 0.03 per month. So it's about three times slower if you're at war. But it does still go away, just slowly. All right, get down there, we'll split you up. Ethiopia is fighting Egypt. That's great. Y'all have fun. Ethiopia, Ethiopia loves to fight Egypt. They want land. They usually do it when the Ottomans are invading. Are the Ottomans invading? Yep. <laughs> Ottomans are invading. So Ethiopia is like, hey, it's my turn to get some land. Ethiopia has cores over here, so it makes sense. They don't always win, though. Sometimes Egypt will surrender to the Ottomans like right away so that they can then turn around and beat the crap out of Ethiopia. That happens pretty regularly. How many troops do I have there? 27. All right. I kind of want to put stacks of 30 down here. Because the land can handle 30. For now. The supply limit, I mean. And over here, supply limit is 40. So we'll just try to fill it up as much as we can. 1, 2, 3, 4. There we go. Yep. Ottomans instantly pieced out Egypt, so Egypt can now turn around and beat the crap out of the uh, of Ethiopia. Not that they will, but they could. It's possible. Is there a way to get your chair autographed by me? Nope. Doesn't work. Sorry. Many apologies, sir. Okay, so we got our 10 transports. That's fantastic. That's going to allow us to transport uh, 30 troops at once. So these stacks of 30 can go all at once. Although I would like it if they have a cavalry amongst them. And they currently do not. So why don't we give them some cav. I'll trade you. I'll trade you a soldier. For a cavalry. Okay. Thank you. And these will be the first two groups that we put on the boat. And you've got two cav. That's perfect. Take that. Balance it. Okay. Yes. Good. Okay. Okay. Are you good at attack or defense? You're good at both. Plus two, plus two. What about you? No general. All right, that's not good. We need armies with generals, damn it. Is multiplayer Victoria viable for YouTube? What do you mean? You mean like would people watch it? Or do you mean can it be uploaded? I'm sure it can be uploaded. I don't know if people would watch it. Maybe? You might be asking the wrong question there. So we have until April to declare war. We can always check our date by mousing over CB. April 24th, yeah. Recruit some more dudes. And an 11th ship, even better. So how many troops do you have, Korea? Korea's got 13 regiments, and China's up to 180. Oh, wow, it's just a lot of regiments. You gotta times that by three to get their total troop count. 180 times three is, what, 540,000 troops? Jesus. That's a big army you have there, China. Okay, I think we'll switch this guy out. Like that. So that we have an army with a general. 
that we can take instead of this one which has no general yeah are you any good are you any good you are three attack but no defense eh, it's better than nothing no general yeah it looks like we only have two generals eh, whatever all right april 24th is coming up about time to declare that war let's go pick up these troopy whoopies Okay, time for war with Korea and, and uh, China. Don't freak out, Korea. This is perfectly normal. You are proper Chinese subjects. You know that, right? I mean, pro proper, Ch proper Japanese subjects. You know that, right? Surely Korea has read history books. They know, they know that Japan is their rightful master. I wish I had another general here, but I just don't. Hmm. Probably take that nine stack to an island or something. When do we see the return of the Shenbeard? Probably next winter. First siege done. Very good. I had a third general here, but whatever. YOLO. There's Korea's meager force. He's mobilized, of course. Oh, no, he didn't mobilize, really. China's up to 190 regiments. Oh, God. He just keeps building. I mean, there there is no... There is never going to be a time when China's not building troops. They just have massive pop. In fact, what is their pop? Their adult male pop is 52 million. So times that by four, they have over 200 million people in their in their country. That's it's insane. That's insane, folks. That's insane. Anyway, let's go attack this fool. You have plus two attack, plus two defense. Go for it, and you will take his spot. You have plus three attack. Well, by all means, attack. 27th of June, 4th of July. Damn it. What if I get in your way? There we go. That's right. Cut them off. And these poor Koreans, they don't know how to fight infantry. He probably has like a good defense general. Doesn't matter. They don't know how to fight infantry. He's running to Tegu. All right, I'll follow you there. Yeah, look at those kills, man. So good. Oh, we crushed him. We squished that army. Wow. Freaking samurai power, man. I love the Japanese units. They do look like little samurai. Uh, morale. Wow, this guy's got no attack and no defense bonus. That's uh, kind of crappy. Whatever. Go to Seoul. Siege the capital. And um, I'm going to take U9 to Cheju. Siege the island. I think I'll take you around to Incheon. Okay, army in Tegu is dead. So that's the Korean army. They're dead. He's going to recruit some more dudes and just run them up to the hills or something. Uh, we won't see China until we get to the border. Probably over 200 troops by now. 201. Yep. All right, everyone to Nagasaki. We'll make a decent stack of 30 and we'll send them over. There we go. Okay. Well, it's a good first war. Not the absolute best it could have been, but it's a good first war. And let's see, 25% more research points when conquering. That might be useful for us. I also want to get uh, naval training so that we can build... Uh, what's it called? No, not that one. This one. Yeah, post-Nelsonian post thought. That way we can build ports. And as soon as we get this thing, we can build ports. We can start up... We can start repairing our fleet instead of just letting them suffer. We don't have the research for it, though, so we'll hold on to that. I think I want to... Well, do I want to do that? Or do I want to get the extra points when conquering? Uh, I might as well get the extra points when conquering right now. And we'll get the uh, upgraded ports later. Wow, we are just slaughtering these guys. This is great. I'm going to take it slow, because you never know when you're going to run into Chinese army. 
right? He could be up here anywhere. recruiting stuff. How about we stop him from recruiting stuff? That works. Hmm, no Chinese at the border. That's interesting. That's good for us because... Oh, what the... China has sieged Bonin. Are you kidding me? Not even kidding, are you? Alright, looks like I'm going to go save Bonin. Okay, works for me. Still no sign of China, other than he's in Bonin for some reason. Let's go save Bonin. Wait, am I going to get sunk here? No way. China just dropped off troops, by the way. Oh, we got him. Okay. Uh, let's go kill those troops, and then we'll go to Bonin. forward, move forward, move forward. Yeah, this is how Korea goes down, baby. They go down hard. On the boat, go to Bonin, save Bonin. Why did China sail out to Bonin? What a weird thing to do. Ethiopia expanded their war with Egypt to include acquire Sudan. Okay, Ethiopia is winning his war against Egypt. That was... Surprising. Well, I don't know. I guess it depends if the Ottomans destroyed the Egyptian army or not. If they did, then yeah, it makes sense. Oh god, my economy. My economy! The economy, fools. I'm going to move everyone up one tile. We're going to try to form a defensive position here. Easier said than done. Because when China attacks, he attacks with how many regiments? 209 brigades. Yeah. That's a few brigades. That's a spice. That's a spicy. That's a spicy meatball. Mamma mia, why you no remember my name? I'm a sorry, Green Mario. Okay. Korea wants peace. He wants me to annex him. Done and done. Yay! Oh, that was beautiful. We're still at war with China, though. So when you annex somebody, you get a whole buttload of research points. You, you can take land, or you can just annex the whole country. You get a whole bunch of research points. We're going to go ahead and throw that at uh, being able to build ports, because ports are key. Yes, sir. And that's all we can do for now. We still have more research points, but we can't do another thing until when? 1840. We gotta wait September, like six months before reform, between reforms. Okay, so China's probably gonna come attack us here in Korea. Just gotta keep an eye out for their troops. Uh, have you unseaged Bonin yet? You sure did. All right, back on the boats, let's go home. But it's a good start. Uh, why don't we call this the first episode here? Thanks for joining me, guys. I've been Shen, you've been you. Come back next time, where we can continue our war against China, and uh, we might start fabricating on someone else, like maybe Dainam, maybe Johor. I don't know. We'll see. But that'll have to wait till next time. So I'll see you then. Have a good day. Ah, beautiful Korea. Chinese clay once again.